Hey there my fellow designers and creatives, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another video in the series on redesigning a mobile app. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and redesign the current balance card. That's the first card that we see on uh, the home screen of the Fold Money app. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and look at the iterations that I made and explain how I went ahead and uh, redesigned it. All right. So currently in Fold Money, you can add one account or multiple accounts. And I have examples of both. And uh, of course, these are like fake numbers. These aren't real numbers. Um, but for us, what we have to focus on is the uh, design. Now, a couple of things uh, when you see over here. First, this is an, a screen with a single bank account and this is with multiple bank accounts attached. And uh, you have the name of the bank account. You've got the account number. You've got this text that says current balance. And uh, you've got the actual value of the current balance of that account. And you've got a graph. And then you've got these two um, values. Now, uh, if you look at this one, we already see some inconsistencies where there is no title over here for this card, but you see the title over here. The current balance, the title is basically inside, but the, you know it's outside over here. Uh, and you can also see some inconsistency here. It's a filled icon here. It's not a filled icon. Um, and uh, you know the, the graph is small and the graph is not small, right? So uh, even just the within these two itself, there is a lot of inconsistencies and uh, let's start questioning things one by one. Now, first of all, uh, do we actually need to see this graph, which is November 8th to December 8th? Um, ideally, it doesn't, you know, essentially make a lot of sense, to be very honest, because it doesn't matter. This value, these, uh, or basically these time periods are not relevant. You have the current balance, which is the balance as of that particular second. So this graph and showing the month uh, graph is not really that helpful, to be very honest, right? Because if you, what do people want to do when they land over here? All they want is the current balance. Now it does make sense when you want to look at the trend of something, for example, when you look at investment apps or you know trading apps, you go look at an instrument or a stock or an ETF or a crypto or whatever, you want to make a decision looking at the entire graph and the growth, right? But with current balance, you don't really care how the graph ever looks like. And over here, um, this graph is essentially not adding any value whatsoever, to be very honest, you know, if I were to put it that way, because, you know, what am I supposed to infer from this, right? Let's say even if there's a big dip or a big rise, how does it matter? Because what is most important is basically the entire, you know, total current balance that is there today, right? Um, so this graph itself is something that I'm going to question. Uh, then we have uh, these two, these time periods, which again are not really relevant. It doesn't matter if it's a one year graph or a one week graph, doesn't really matter. So adding these things are not really adding value. And it's pretty clear he, that nobody's going to pay attention to this graph, right? Um, now the card is actually clickable, but for some reason, every time I click on the card or I mean tap on the card, the app crashes. So I'm not going to show that part of the experience. And honestly, there's nothing uh, to actually talk about in that particular screen, uh, uh, you know, because this, the current balance, this is pretty much uh, what we need, right? So this is the first thing that, you know, uh, these are my first initial uh, impressions, right? Now coming to the UI design aspect of it. In one of the earlier videos, we went ahead and looked at this benchmarking that we did and we took four elements, which is basically surface colors, stroke, dividers, and shadows. And what we finalized was that we would only go with surface colors and shadows, right? So that would basically be this one. So we would be taking surface colors and shadows and we would take an approach like this. So we would not have any strokes, which is basically the borders around an element and no dividers like this, which separate sections or elements, right? So this is the principle that we are sort of taking into consideration when we're redesigning the entire app. The lesser number of elements you're using, the more cleaner your app is going to be. So coming back over here, uh, they have surface colors. So we're going to continue to use that. We have the stroke around every element. We are going to remove that. And also we're going to add shadows, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and look into that. Now, one quick thing before we do is to look at the use case and the personas. So in the previous video, we went ahead and we made personas. And what I did was try to give a few more examples uh, to that, right? So if I were to quickly show you what we did in the previous video over here, um, we created this user story where to show the current balance, the basically the user story would be, did I save enough money uh, this month for the trip that I'm planning the next month? Now, again, this is talking about savings, but essentially, do I have enough amount in my bank balance in order to make that expense uh, is basically the question that's there in my mind, right? So if I go back and look at this, uh, that is basically the second one. Did I save enough money for this month uh, for the trip I'm planning to go next month? And basically, uh, what is my current bank balance, right? And uh, um, 
Somebody might even ask, did I get my salary? Because the moment you see a jump in your bank balance, you'll get to know if your salary was credited. Although this is not really a very strong use case, to be very honest, uh, because you know you would probably get an SMS or an email or whatever. So this is not really a big deal, uh, but this would be probably important. I have another one, just an example, say that I'll buy the new PS5 that just came out. Let me wait until I have enough savings. How much money do I have right now, right? So um, I look at my current bank balance and then I see if you know, I want willing to invest or maybe should I save up a little bit more or buy it next month or whatever, right? Uh, because maybe I made a lot of expenses this month and I don't really want to spend anything or buy anything this month, right? So this is basically the questions that somebody will have in mind and that is why they are interested to see what is the current bank balance, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take you through the iterations and I'm gonna show you all the iterations and I'm gonna in the end show you what I sort of finalized on and take you through my, you know, design process. Um, so first of all, I started off by adding the title that wasn't there. So here we had uh, the title uh, and here we did not have a title, but for the other sections, we did have the title. So I started off by adding the title over here and I removed all the other elements. I still decided to keep the graph because I realized that it is adding a little bit of a visual emphasis, even though it absolutely adds no value. Now, if I remove the graph, it will actually look really bad, all right? Because just assume that the screen would look like this and with this layout, where we are constricting everything into a box, it wasn't really looking that good. I don't seem to have the iteration, um, but it would look pretty much like this without the graph. And because we are constricting everything, we don't really have a lot of you know um, room to play around with, right? So because we have that constraint of putting everything into boxes, uh, we have to somehow add some sort of a visual element to balance things, right? Um, and this is again, the biggest problem I have with a design choice like this, where we have to use two separate colors and then put everything into boxes. I just hate doing that, uh, but I am still setting up that constraint because I don't want it to look completely different than the Fold Money app. Um, if you are doing a redesign of any other app, I would say go all in and try to redesign it as much as you can without setting any constraints. But in this case, I am going to set that constraint. Anyway, so uh, let's go back. So we have the value over here. Uh, and I wasn't really, you know, being very clear with the uh, spacing and the font sizes. That was something that I would figure out later once I have everything else. But just pay attention to uh, the visual direction. All right. Um, then I added the icon because, you know, we had an icon um, over here. I decided to add the icon to make it a little bit more consistent, uh, but somehow this also didn't really work well with me. We have this alignment issues, which I sort of didn't really like because, and everything is you know, sort of misaligned. So I wanted everything to be as aligned as possible. Um, and so I removed the icon and I thought maybe this is a little bit better. So if we see the two, um, you know, this is looking a little bit better. Maybe the spacing we have to reduce a little bit here. Um, but then this card itself was being so empty and it was really looking out of place. So either we simplify it or we add some elements without making it too uh, visually cluttered, right? Because right now it's just too text heavy um, and this graph is really not adding any value. The next thing that I did was I decided, let me start trying to add uh, the uh, other elements. Basically, if I had two bank accounts, how do how would that look? Um, I tried an option like this, didn't really like this because it was disconnected from this. Ideally, we want all of them to be together. Um, and then I decided to try a very different approach where we would add the total and we would also add a carousel for each of the things. Um, but here again, you say current balance and then you have total, which is sort of pretty much the same thing to be very honest. Um, and I didn't really like that. So, and even over here, um, why do we really have to have three cards? So if you have five bank accounts, would you have five cards uh, when you can show all of that together in one card? So I sort of rejected this option as well. Um, and then finally landed on these two options. So basically, um, if we have two elements, we would show the icon and the value or in that bank. And if it is a single bank account, we would just show the uh, account details, right? The, basically the last four digits of the account, right? And I think this you know, made a lot of sense and we have more hierarchy in terms of uh, typography and sections here as well. So this is a bigger font size and then we have another one um, and then um, this one is actually a little bit bigger than this but that's okay because this would be sort of a display and we would see this only in one place in the entire app and we would not see this font size anywhere else. Um, so this is how it would look. Um, now another thing is that uh, there's an app called Revolut where basically you can hide your account balances by you know turning over your device, right? So for example, over here, yeah, you can actually turn off uh, the balance, you can sort of turn off the visibility, but over here, you really can't do it, right? So again, there's an inconsistency there as well. Why do we have that option over here, but not have it over here? 
I don't know, it didn't fit, really make sense to me. Um, I really wanted to remove the feature altogether and that's pretty much what I would suggest. Uh, of course, we could look at data and see how many people actually sort of turn it off and you know, do they actually need the feature, all right? Or can we keep it only you know for power users where it's not very obvious when you turn your phone down, uh, the screen gets dark and you know the balances get hidden, right? So maybe that's a better uh, approach, right? So I removed any of those options uh, and you know icons and everything could just keep it super simple and straightforward, right? Um, and here is just a quick comparison of how that would look. So we have the home. Uh, we have this section where you can sort of customize the sections on the home. Um, that really made no sense to me whatsoever. And we are anyway going to remove a big uh, part of the home screen. Um, ideally, unless there are too many widgets, you shouldn't have the option to customize your home screen too much. You're just adding complexity for no reason whatsoever and it is obviously an engineering effort um, as well. So I removed that thing, I removed the uh, eye icon over here and we kept it a lot simpler. So this is how um, it would look. Uh, the bank account definitely gets a lot of reason. Uh, I even removed the name of the bank account, uh, sorry, the name of the bank because I think it's very clear with the icon and I'm sure you know your bank account account, right? So nobody has to tell you which bank account it is. Um, and over here, again, the icons are anyway adding value. Uh, and here we don't really have the name of the bank. So it's already fine. So we just adopted the same things and keep it like a very scalable solution rather than designing something that looks completely different. As you can see over here, like both of these looks completely different. We just make it very simple where we add, uh, you know, design something in a way that is completely scalable. So whether it's one account or whether it's two accounts, it looks the exact same. Um, and you know, it doesn't look like it's a brand new app or something. And this probably could scale to a lot more, um, probably could add, you know, maybe two or three more or bank accounts, but again, that's a very edge case. So, uh, you know, even if you have three accounts or four accounts, it would still uh, look pretty fine, right? So uh, that's pretty much it about redesigning the uh, balance card. There's nothing too crazy about this. It is pretty simple and straightforward. And in the next video, we're going to dive into more complex sections of the app, and I'm going to show you uh, how I made the design decisions there. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So then take care and bye-bye.